Hello students in this video we will be talking about that one subject which keeps pulling your rank down and how to fix it I am Dr Sahil Dingra and today we are here with Dr Amir and we would be we both would be discussing on how to fix that one particular subject which keeps haunting you all So as you know students uh, when you start your preparation like I remember when I was doing my preparation Biochemistry was that one subject that I was completely scared of. Now there are subjects that you will hate because you hate them inherently, and there are subjects that you love but might not be able to perform well. So, biochemistry being one of those subjects where I was completely refraining myself from touching until the end of the preparation, which was a mistake. But then there was other subjects like orthodontics, which I thought I knew very well, but I realized that I was making a lot of mistakes. so it is very important it is very crucial that you identify that subject which is pulling your rank down because it might be a stronger subject for you and you still don't know if it is actually making you score or you are losing marks there what is your experience in these kind of uh, subject based challenges dr sahil yes so first of all the first objective is to identify the weak link now how to do that is so firstly we all are familiar that the subjects which are usually more theoretical they are more vast and volatile and difficult to grasp mm-hmm. also the subjects in which there are more factual things rather than concepts that is the basic subjects subjects like biochemistry as you mentioned mm-hmm. like public health dentistry pharmacology these are the subjects which students will find much more difficulty in mm-hmm. now to how to tackle them is the first and foremost thing is that we have to spend time with something we are weak in now uh see how we will know is that we are weak in this subject is once once we are trying to solve the questions for that subject we will have a lot of difficulties like we will be forgetting things frequently we will not be grasping the concepts most of the times what happens is a student's mindset is that okay this subject i am not able to do let's leave it let's focus on the other subjects Mm-hmm. but what if that subject is important what if that is a subject like ph- pharmacology okay biochemistry might not get you that many questions but public mm-hmm. health or pharmacology will give you questions in the neat mds mm-hmm. so the goal is not that to run from these things because see ultimately if you are good in a clinical subject you will require mm-hmm. less time in that initially you might have to give one or two months to those weak subjects but at the end what will happen is slowly you and gradually you will also reduce your amount of time you have to give to that subject also second thing to remember is that uh, if you are weak in a particular subject this means and it is a vast subject like pharmacology we know that almost everybody is weak somewhere in pharmacology it is a subject where so again as i told in the previous videos also that mcqs are a relative concept we have to outnumber we have to beat the other student we don't have to get 100 out of 100 in this mm-hmm. so the goal is that we have to reach a baseline what is a baseline is that if okay suppose a easy question from pharmacology comes suppose they are asking something about a penicillin drug name this drug or name that drug cephalosporin now these are very basic pharmacology topics which we everybody mm-hmm. should know like they are asking okay which is a beta lactam antibiotic for example mm-hmm. if this you are not answering what will happen is others will answer this you will get behind in the competition there are few questions nobody will know so don't mm-hmm. you don't have to worry about those questions and these t- type of questions are particularly from those topics only like which you are weak in the topics which require lot of facts you will not be remembering everything but you have to remember what the other what the average student remembers not that what everybody remembers but if you see the easiest way to get get your score up in the neat mds is do not make silly mistakes so and silly mistakes are not just from the easier subjects from the difficult subject if a easy question comes even that if, if you go wrong it is called as a silly mistake so the most important goal is to avoid silly mistakes agreed agreed now for those who uh, are finding or struggling with one subject i have an advice that you should take up in your uh, practice split that subject topic wise or chapter wise or you know section wise however you like suppose if you are doing pharmac then split it into general pharmacology systemic and antibiotics something like that in three parts over three weeks or three months 
whatever is suiting your timetable and do 2 hours of that preparation every day or dedicate say saturdays i am going to sit only with this subject no other subject dedicate some specific amount of time periodically to that subject weekly monthly daily however it suits your schedule what happens is you start getting conditioned to that subject so in in the whole process in the bigger picture you are covering the basics like he mentioned so you will not do silly mistakes look at the strategy videos where we have discussed all the previous year questions and we've allotted them to specific tasks if you watch those videos you will find out what are the high yield areas high yield topics from which more questions have appeared in the previous year exams those are the topics you should definitely not miss for any subject like even if you are running away from a subject make sure that the top 10 topics you are covering because that is like the fundamental or the basic most part of that subject and that you should focus on the second thing that you should focus on is making sure that you are progressing tracking your progress so if you are doing say if you prepared systemic pharmacology few chapters you did antihypertensives you did diabetes and you did say uh, respiratory drugs take the cumulative test with that and see how you performed in that test if you got 5 out of 5 questions correct out of 10 then next time see you revise those questions go through those explanations again in the next check in the next weekly test you check whether you got 6 or 7 is there a progress so track your progress with that subject individually and that is going to help you a lot now talking of a bigger picture dr sail sometimes we know we think that we know a subject very well sometimes we think we are very confident with a subject but it is still some silly mistakes over confidence or overwrite of uh, fundamental knowledge especially in subjects like opath where you think you know it very well but you might be making silly mistakes because the lesions are very similar or the pictorial representation is very similar how do you address that how do you tackle those subjects so for such subjects like suppose oral pathology now if we have two three similar lesions we have to read it in a contrasting manner we have to see what are the differences like in a tabular form if we read where we are comparing every lesion every syndrome that is a better approach also during the exam time whether we are giving a mock exam or the final exam what we have to do is we have to read for such subjects we have to read the question twice or thrice right. and one more thing is we have to read all the options because in oral pass what will happen if they tell okay this what is which of these is a radio opaque lesion but they will add one one word in this that okay sometimes radio opaque sometimes radio lucent mm. now what we will see is two lesions will be similar both will be having but one lesion will be there which for which that is a particular characteristic for mm-hmm. other lesion it is just a feature which it will sometimes show but not always mm-hmm. so we have to mark the most appropriate answer now what yeah. happens is if a student has studied well what they will see they will see that first option suppose that is the option number 1 only they will just mark it and move ahead they mm. will not read the other options you have to read all the options also mm-hmm. which is 100% the commonest mistake everyone does is you look at the question you're like hmm, this is the answer but read the other options because there could be a better option that suits the same description and that is where you actually fail in a subject that you are good at the whole point of making this video uh, students is so that you understand how to play your cards correctly how to focus on your strengths in the best way but also making sure that the weaknesses that you have are not uh, putting you down too far we want you to make sure that the stronger subjects remain the strongest for you but the weaker subjects are also somewhere in the middle now another tool that might be very helpful for you in the second and third phase of your preparation during the revision strategy is the national mocks and the ai recommendations when you have a subject wise breakdown of how many questions you attempted how many questions were correct how many were incorrect how much time you should dedicate to your revision to each subject it kind of makes your thing very easy because you don't have to spend time retrospecting and recounting your mistakes it comes as a summary report at the end of your test and that helps a lot in identifying your weaker subjects so uh, dr sahil do you have uh, suggestions for students who are in uh, their initial phases right now for the preparation as to how they should start approaching uh, their weaker subjects and stronger subjects and you know just to cre- create a balance so that they have a summary of what we are trying to explain to them yes so when it comes to the weaker subjects now already you are afraid you are running away from the subject so the best option is to read the most important topics of that subject first 
बिकॉज वॉट विल हैपन इज वंस यू गिव अ मॉक इवन इफ अ वीकली मॉक और अ ग्रैंड मॉक फॉर दैट सब्जेक्ट सिक्सटी सेवेंटी परसेंट क्वेश्चन विल बी फ्रॉम दो टेन फिफ्टीन चैप्टर्स ओनली द अदर्स विल बी नॉट वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो वॉट हैपन्स इज वंस यू गिव अ मॉक यू थिंक दैट ओके नाउ आई नो एटलीस्ट हाफ ऑफ द सिलेबस so the confidence will increase then you move on to the topics which are more dry or mm. which are of less weightage mm. and as for the stronger subjects the most important quality is not to make silly mistakes that can only come once by pra- one by practice and second by reading all the options and the questions at least twice or thrice perfect so uh, that brings us to the end of this video and if you are preparing for neat mds this year and are looking for more such uh, tips tricks content educational stuff make sure that you subscribe uh, our youtube channel also follow us on instagram telegram group sessions are very helpful if you are not using neat mds prep app you can download it from play store app store wherever you like on your laptop phone mobiles wherever okay and also make sure that you are trying uh our uh, explanations explanatory videos these are very handy when it comes to preparation anything that you have questions about we are here 24/7 on our whatsapp groups our customer care is very supportive and for any other doubts just reach out to us directly or you can comment below all the best for your preparation and thank you so much for watching this video